Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day seven. Um, day seven is going to be pretty interesting because we've had some um, tougher restrictions put in place. Um, so now there is um, all of the parks um, are closed. So no more shooting hoops. Kind of disappointing. Um, and also if um, you are hanging out with people outdoors, it's um, no more than, than two people. So um, that means that um, I'm glad we had our day yesterday, our triangle day, because that look, looks like that's the last day for a long time and only go out if, if you need stuff so um, or if you're going to work. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting day today. So let's see what... Um, what what's in store for my day seven of what's actually starting to look like isolation. It's been another busy work day today. Um, I did not end up going into to work to do, I think I'll have to do that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, pretty busy. I did get to stop for a good five minutes to do my afternoon stretches with my team. So we had this whole thing um, where we were using using teams on our phones. And so um, I was inspired to go out on my balcony and do my stretches. And I did spy someone across the way that was sitting there watching me. Interesting. Could be my future husband or could just be some dude that was sitting there thinking, what the fuck is that girl doing over there? Anyway, we'll soon find out when I'm out there stretching again tomorrow. Um, wanted to bring your attention to my really cool shirt here. Look, it's like the turtles, cowbunga dudes. I love being a turtle. Oh, I like this shirt. Fun fact, I went to see the movie at um, Hayden Orpheum in Cremorne a couple of years ago and I thought that I was going to be like real pimping right because I'm just like yeah look at me in my turtle shirt and some dude sitting across from me was actually dressed up as a turtle it was a cracker of a costume totally put this shirt to shame but not today not today I'm I'm the winner today anyway I've got to go downstairs and um I do need to go to the shop so I'm gonna go again in the morning just after old people hour because there are some things that I actually need and um, I've got a fighting chance of getting those things if I get in there first thing. Um, but right now I do need an essential item. I do need to purchase an essential item and that essential item is beer. So I'm gonna go downstairs and for those, those of you that don't know, I live I actually live right across the road from a um, liquor shop. So it's not like I'm going, you know, um, trouncing around town for beer. I'm going across the road. Um, and yes, I did choose this place because it's across the road from a liquor shop. No, that's not true. I didn't. But while I'm out and about, I did make a little something for Donny that I'm going to like just leave for him at his gate because, um, again, you know, now that the rules are, are tightened, I, um, you know, I'm not going to be able to see my triangle as much. And especially Donny because Donny needs all the loves. Donny needs all the loves. He's just, oh, Donny, I just love the shit out of you. Like Mrs. Chant, you know how much I love you as well. But, you know, you're you're getting some loving. But Donny, Donny needs the loves. So I made him a little love chair. You see, like all the little love hearts. So I'm going to put that, um, I think, maybe like by his, his little garden out front that one of his other stalkers made for him. Um, and then that way, whenever he walks out, he's going to see this little chair of love and he's going to be like, oh, look, you know, someone loves me. Um, you know, he'll probably know that it's me because, you know, <laughs> who else does stupid shit like that for Donny? But I'm going to put this there and, you know, this little chair, it's going to like contain the energetic love for him. So every time like he walks out the door, he's just going to get this little pfft little poof of love from the chair. So I hope that he enjoys that. 
So I'm scoping out DP's place again and it's looking like he's not home. Which is, oh God, a dog just barked, which is kind of a good thing. But the concern is I don't want him pulling up in his like little Corolla while I'm playing around with his garden out the front. So shh, I've got to be real, real quiet like. Make sure no one sees me. Oh, look at that. Little like made with love. Right. Oh, I gotta go. I had to make my way out of there because I heard like someone coming, but I don't think there was anyone there. I think I was just freaking out. So I'm obviously not very good at this when I'm on my own. But I hope that Donnie finds his little gift of love there. Um, you know, I, I made that to show Donnie some love. And also because that little chair's been sitting in my office and when I was cleaning my office out the other day, I actually wanted to get rid of that thing. But also to show Donnie some love as well. So just signing off for today, um, I didn't have a lot in my blog today, it was quite a busy day at work and um, still recovering from a, um, being sick half the weekend and then being out and sporty the other half. Um, so hopefully I'll have more for you um, tomorrow. Um, in regards to my list, I am getting around to naming my plants. Um, I've been finding creative ways to stalk Donnie and I'm going to have to keep up with that. Um, I actually research calisthenics. Not as fun as what I thought it would be. It's actually more like some sort of workout and I'm like well no I don't want to do that so I'm gonna to have to find something else I'm gonna be up early tomorrow because um, I need to get some stuff from the shop so I've got to go right after old people hour so um, I want to get some ice cold so I can make my sani Anyway, peeps, um, that's it from me tonight. Um, as always, a special shout out to my triangle, Mrs. Chant and DP. Mwah. Miss you guys loads. Sending you lots of love through the interwebs and, um, you know, by things that I leave out in front of your house. Um, and, yeah, just everyone stay safe and keep it real.